Hey there, please excuse my voice during this here video. I am still just a bit sick. So I had stopped playing TF2 near the end of 2017. I didn't participate in either Scream Fortress or Smithsmiths that year. But like a terrible relationship from the past, I made my way back. Four years later, I decided to get into the game again and decided to get into the trading scene to get all the dope items I had once wanted. Doing so, I have met so many different characters and seen so many different faces, which usually gravitated to be one of these five types of traders in my eyes. Let it be known that I have nothing against these type of traders. They are doing what makes them happy and what they are most comfortable with. Unless you're a fucking dick and shit on people for no reason other than their status as a trader. And with that out of the way, let's get back to the video. So, I went ahead and grouped the newbie and ref traders together because they have some things in common, but not everything. Usually, the newbie traders uh, tend to have trade holds, and when it comes down to them, I usually just gift them the item for free. When it comes down to both the newbie and ref traders, they tend to find enjoyment with the items they obtain, no matter the value. Jumping back to the newbie, they end up dropping out of TF2 after a few weeks, simply just maybe because they are bored or had a higher expectation when it came down to downloading TF2. That high expectation being obtaining all the cool expensive items within that short time period. Joker, I can get a fucking strange rain blower for only one and a half key. Well, maybe Batman. you should go and talk to him. Batman, this Batman. has domination parts on it. I can get that part for 3.5 refined, Joker. But you Batman, dumbass. it's signed by that. Muse Elk. It's signed I by Muse Elk, Batman. Muse Elk. I can go ask him in this comment section to fucking sign it for me. I can pay But it's from for OG Muse Elk, Batman. OG Muse Elk. You can't do this anymore, Batman. Yes, you can. I'm literally in his Patreon. I can ask him right now. It doesn't matter, Batman. You're falling under a scam of Patreon. You, you don't get any content. The... He quit what Team Fortress 2, Batman. I'm not paying five keys for that shitty ramp lower. Now, moving into the niche traders. These traders tend to get random items which become hard to sell. Normally struggling and usually ends up quick selling them. And I mean this next one with no offense, but they are usually gullible. And what I mean by that is that they are usually easy to convince when it comes down to letting them know that, oh, you have a, a good time selling so-and-so item for a good amount of profit. But in all reality, that trader is just trying to get that item out of his inventory just due to it being so whack when it comes down to trying to sell. Up next, we have the Profit Trader. The Profit Trader usually allows the price of an item to determine if they like it or not. They normally want to buy everything at a quick sell price just so that they could flip those items. They are also typically impatient when it comes down to having those items to sell, as in they don't like to have them in their inventory for too long. Again, that's just a hand few that normally do this. Not all of them do, but when they do, they let the whole server know. The next category would be buyers and consumers. When it comes down to buyers and consumers, they usually make trades for items they want to keep long term. They usually understand prices and the profit for the sellers who are selling said items. People who fall under this category are typically calm and chill. It is very rare to run into someone who falls under this category who is a complete ass and just completely rude. Lastly, we have the rich and high class traders. When it comes down to these type of traders, they are usually the nicest person or the worst person on the server. With prices so high, they rarely get one sold, but when they do, it is completely worth it for them. Normally always has an unbelievable inventory with a crazy value to them. And so this would conclude the types of traders I have put together. 
I understand there is more types out there, but this is the general five I've ran into. Also, this is probably gonna be the one and only video to touch up on any sort of trading. It's just one and done pretty much. I don't plan on getting into like trading stuff. And this isn't a guide to understanding traders. It's just what I've seen and put together based off of what I've seen, of course. But yeah, let me know if you agree with any of this or if you are completely against any of what I put down for each and every one of these down below.